Now that we have everything assembled, uh, it's time for a functionality test. I've put everything together and I've plugged in the power. I'm going to turn on the vacuum pump now. And I've got a SYC8 chip and I've also put on a uh, 45 degree angle bent uh, needle with a plastic housing and I'm going to pick up the SOIC chip. Now, when I press the pedal, it should release the chip. However, it's not doing so. That means that my vacuum pressure is up a little too high. So I'm going to adjust it down some and then retest. So this is why it's pretty important to get a vacuum pump uh, that has an adjustable uh, control for the vacuum pressure. Uh, this will allow you to adjust the drop rate and the vacuum on the entire design. Depending on the size of uh, the component you're picking up and also of the type of needle you're using, it's very, very important to get that down correctly. Now, as I noted, I have a 45 degree angle needle on here. This is a, a standard lure lock type base. Uh, there are a lot of places that you can order these from. You can get stuff from a company called Howard Electronics. They have a wide assortment. Uh, you can also get different types of items from eBay and Amazon. Uh, this particular one has a long needle with a, a, a 45 degree uh, bend with, again, a plastic housing for picking up larger parts. Uh, you can get smaller ones with a 45 degree bend uh, and uh, this one's really good for picking up 0402 and 0603 parts. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the straight ones, uh, but a lot of people I know do like the, the straight ones all the way through. Uh, this is a unique one that you can get. Uh, it's just basic plastic and you cut it to the length and diameter you want. So there's a lot of different options that you can get. Uh, you can just shop around and uh, I've included some links in the bill of material for some ones that I normally purchase. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to Dave's Dev Lab channel. Thank you.